four black women and girls are killed every day. You actually heard me right there. I said every day. This is obviously a crisis, but oftentimes it doesn't get the attention it deserves. Every five and a half hours, a black woman or a black girl is killed, typically by a black man. This is the story of Tasha Patterson. Tasha Patterson was a beautiful woman, born in New Jersey, but had relocated to Atlanta. Friends and family described her as being vivacious and full of life, always smiling, checking up on friends and family, and would talk to you on the phone for hours. She could have done her own stand-up comedy show. She loved very hard. She had a big heart. Um, and the donations that I had myself, my niece, and, and and this is what is what we're down to. This is all that we have left. And the only reason that we have this left is because a lot of this right now is um, a lot of it is geared towards summer. Um, so we're getting again. There goes my niece Tasha. Say hi, Tasha. Look at my sister Sabrina. Hello. And um, we're getting ready to. We're going to stay out here just a few more minutes. Unfortunately, Tasha was in a volatile relationship. According to family and friends, Tasha and her boyfriend, Mally McFadden, had been in a relationship for two years. Family and friends had witnessed the two being aggressive towards each other. However, that did not deter either of them from moving into an apartment together. Sadly, seven months later, Tasha was murdered. Her uncle could have never imagined the disturbing phone call he got Friday morning. You just don't really know where to begin. Uh, you know, it's just heartbreaking even talking about it. Inside this carport at Patterson's home, Clayton County Police found the 41-year-old shot to death around 8 that morning. Her house is located in Riverdale on Mockingbird Trail near Ovis Lane. Four days later, detectives arrested Mally McFadden for her murder. This is video of detectives transporting him to the county jail. They had a very volatile relationship to start with. There have been several incidences of violence on both parties. Loved ones say McFadden was Patterson's boyfriend of two years. That's the only thing that eases my pain and everything and my grief that knowing that he's in jail. The police narrative mentions disturbing details, saying that Patterson was shot in the head and dragged to her carport. She was also killed the night before. There's nothing that anybody can do until that person wants to do something. And there's not a person I think that I know that didn't, you know, try to get them to, to go their separate ways. Everybody saw it. Everybody saw the toxicity in it. Yep. Police arrested and charged Mally McFadden, her ex-boyfriend, with malice murder, aggravated assault, and tampering with evidence. No further detail surrounding arrangement has been stated. A balloon release ceremony was held by family and friends to celebrate Tasha's life. The family has also started a GoFundMe to bring Tasha back to New Jersey to be buried alongside her daughter. The story was very difficult for me to do, especially after hearing that news story of how people witnessed them being aggressive and violent towards each other. It just further reiterated that they knew that they shouldn't have been together. And while that was the case, I will never condone anyone deciding to take someone's life. I wish they had gone their separate ways and I hope Mally gets life without the possibility of parole. My condolences to the Patterson family. Rest in peace, Tasha Patterson. This is what me and Felicia are doing. <laughs> what if people are? I want to see. I want to see, see them dancing. Walking around the loose. What, what do you call them? Feet. Oh. Uh, no, wait, wait, what? <laughs> she don't, don't get too far. far. Legs are required for jumping. Jumping and dancing. Strolling along down the street.